As for the first panel, um, that one starts off, of course, with the rainbow being the purple tones. Uh, it also fits nighttime, and it, uh, they wanted to incorporate the nighttime scene into the tree lighting, which makes a lot of sense, um, being that that's like one of the major events that happens here. So as the timeline progresses, um, the different events that happened in Ephrata re represented on them. Uh, they also put an owl in it because they thought, what's an animal that appears to be watching a lot? An owl has those big eyes. It's always like questioning, who's out there? What are you doing? Like, you know. So uh, that first panel has a very large owl for a reason. Um, and also there's owls that live in Ephrata that are, uh, I believe, long-eared owl. And that's what that one is. And um, they are kind of famous. Like people travel in just to try to get pictures of them and bird enthusiasts rave about them. So Ephrata is kind of known for other owls too. Um, we build in the fake bricks to make it look like it's three-dimensional so that the people are pouring out over the edge. And actually on uh, the panels, we did have some ladies that were like, I can't believe they let you paint these bricks. And I'm like, well, we actually didn't. Those are fake. And she was like, oh my gosh. So it is convincing people. It is. People are um, semi-convinced by them. Uh, so just to add some depth, that was the goal for that.